Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an interactive web slider in Figma. Before we start, hurry up and check out this offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you exactly do this? Well, first things first, go to figma.com, log into your account and create your project. Now in your project, go ahead and add your frame. So in my case, I actually added an Android format here. So in this case, once you've added your frame, what we need to do next is we need to zoom in here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. And we want to add our first element. So let's go ahead and first add our frame. So we're going to choose frame here and we want to add our simple frame here, which is the content or the, in this case, is going to be the container of our slider. In this case, you want to fill or add a fill for your uh, frame here. And you might want to make this around the gray area here. Now you want to add some curves into it. So let's just add a 10 to the curve here and that should be good. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to add a rectangle within that frame. And I would suggest you uh, try adding like uh, this one. So in this case, I'll be uh, use, choosing a color here. So I'll be using orange as the base color for this one. So maybe this one. And we also want to add some curves into it. Let's go ahead and add a curve 10. That should be good. And once you've done that, make sure that your rectangle is actually within or inside that frame. So as you can see, it is now within that frame. Now, in this case, we want to position it as you see here. So the very starting position here. And once you've done that, we are now good. So also make sure that your frame actually has the clip content enabled here. Now, let's go add our circle. Let's go add a ellipse here. So just add a circle ellipse here. Let's go and resize this accordingly. And in this case, we want to position it up quite uh, this place, uh, this way here. And we want to change the fill here. So we want to copy the color of our filler here. And we want to make this a bit darker, but you could also add like, for example, shadows into it if you want to. So I'm just going to intensify the color here so that we'll, we can actually uh, differentiate it from the actual background. And once you've done that, what we need to do next is we now need to add our effect. So I would suggest you to try adding like this is just an example. Obviously, you could do your own effect here. I want to add a uh, t a box here, and uh, I want to actually add some color into it. So maybe I want to choose a white or this gray one is actually pretty good. So I'm going to retain that, but I still want to add some curves into it. So maybe I want to add a thirteen to the curve, and I also want to add a triangle or a polygon. Let's go ahead and add it in here. And we want to also invert this one and we could basically add it in here. Now, once you've added that, let's go and highlight this to uh, shapes here. Go to the uh, new selection here, choose that. And because we were able to uh, basically combine them. Now, what we need to do next is we need to add our text. Let's go and add our text here. So in this case, I'll be adding, let's just add a simple one click here, just add a hundred. You want to change the actual uh, text here, so make it bold. And we want to also change the color itself into uh, something. So let's just resize this. And we want to highlight this one. Change the whole color, so it's quite similar to our background color. So let's choose this one. And we want to actually uh, drag it within or inside our shape here. Now once it's actually added, what we need to do next is we need to add our numbers. So in this case, just press enter, then 200, then 300, then 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. So obviously you could add your own numbers here, but this is just all I like to do here. Now, what we need to do next is we need to right click on our text layer here and we want to add a frame selection. Now for our frame, we want to actually resize this to so that only 100 is visible here. And we want to actually click on clip content. And once you've done that, we are now ready to proceed with the next step. So the next step is we want to actually group the whole thing here. So select the whole sections we have here. We want to right click on it. Just click on the group option here, group selection. And once you've done that, let's go and bring it outside our uh, uh, section here. And we want to actually duplicate this one. So let's go ahead and duplicate, uh, press on the Alt, Alt, drag it down. 
And once you drag it, what we need to do is we need to change a few things. So first is going to be this section. You could hold on shift so that you'll be you won't be able to change the other uh sections or in the in this case the other uh draggable uh, options here so that you will be able to move it on the left hand side section and you want to actually click on the uh, rectangle with, within the frame here and you want to move it so again hold on shift and you want to move it at the right side now same thing you want to actually hold on union same with your frame too that includes the text and you want to move it at the right side here and you want to click on the text here and you want to actually expand this one and move it up here upwards. You want to move up here. Yep. So this is good. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we now need to actually add a component. Let's go and highlight this two sections here. Click on the option here. It says create component set. That should be good. And from here, you want to select the, uh, the button that we added here or the slider. You want to go to prototype. And you should now have this uh, drag, or in this case, uh, the indicator here. Let's go ahead and uh, add our interaction. Let's go ahead and basically drag it into the second uh, group that we created. And we want to actually change this to on drag. And the, uh, make sure to set this to smart animate. Choose ease in and may set it to th set this to around 300 ms, and that should be good. And once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to select on the uh, uh, button here. And we want to, again, same uh, same thing. You want to set this on drag, smart animate, ease in, and 300 ms. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back into our Android frame here. We want to go to assets, and we want to actually add our asset here. So once you've done that, you can go and click on play. And that should give you the actual look of what we did just now. So as you can see, we were able to change the look here. So as you can see right now. So yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.